Hello. This is this is the first episode of my my of my uh, Python series. Um, I'm going this video. I'm going to show you how to install Pytrum. So first, you're going to want to open your web browser. In my case, is Google Chrome. Open that. You're going to want to type in the address, address jetbrains.com. Make sure it's an S, or you're going to get some other address. So go to jetbrains.com. One click products, and one click Pytrum. Now, if you want, you can do inside. You can type in jetbrains.com slash Pytrum, but you don't want to click get Pytrum three now. And click download community edition. And then this should should look like this. And you're gonna want to click on this. So, well, just wait until it's ready, and then you click on it. It's gonna open up. You can close your web browser because you don't need it anymore. You want to drag PyCharm to applications. There we go. Now you can just close this. Drag this in here. Now what you're going to want to do is go to your applications, click on PyCharm. It should open up. Open. And it should look like this. I do not have a previous version of PyCharm or I do not want to import my settings. You want to click. Okay. Great. Now, don't worry about this. ID theme, this is dark or nice and bright like, like you see here. ID default. Edit colors and fonts, well, not much explained there. Don't worry about the preview code. You don't need to understand that. I don't really understand it myself, so don't worry. Um, now, enable opening files in project from the command line. Yes, or you're going to have trouble running your code. Okay. You want to create new project. Project name, our project. Location, like you can select Dropbox or something if you want. So, like, if you had Dropbox here, you could open that. I'm just going to do that. Now, interpreter. You can't select anything already, so you want to click this right button right here. Click Add. And you want to click Python version 2.7, the latest one, the newest one. So, now it's downloading 2.7. This X11 thing, I don't know why it does this. It's okay that it does it. I'll show you how to get rid of it really quick instead of having to do this. That's really slow. Now I want to click OK. Well, actually, I'm sorry. Don't click OK. Click Apply. Now click OK. So that way you don't lose all that. Now, for, to close all that, just spam the cancel button on here. And it'll cancel all those. There you go. Now, create new project. OK. Yes, now we have a project. And now PyCharm should open up. Now, if we want to keep PyCharm here, we can do options, keep in dock, or we can do options, show in finder, we can drag this here. And now we can double click here whenever we want to run PyCharm. That's cool. Now, that's it. Now you have PyCharm all ready to go. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Remember, comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks.